When you first install MemberPress on your website, the default layout of the accounts page looks like this. So we wanna change this design and make it look like this. This is a much better experience and we can highly customize this page and make it look the way we want. We can also add links to other important parts of our website and we can also add videos if we wanted to. So this is what we're going to do in today's tutorial. I'm going to be using Divi to achieve this because I find it easier to work around it and also to add all the features that I need. So I'll leave all the links to the tools that I use in the video description below. So without wasting a lot of time, let's get started. So what you wanna do now is you wanna head over to DV and then click on Theme Builder. This is where we're going to build our page, which is going to make all the changes to the accounts page. Right, so once we're here, we need to click on this plus button and we need to build this new template. And now we need to specify the page we need to target. So I'm gonna come over here to specific pages and then I'm just gonna scroll down until I find my page and the page I'm looking for is the account page. I'm gonna select that and then click on create template. So once we've done this, right now there's nothing on the template so we need to actually create it. So I'm gonna click here on add custom body and then build custom body. This now is going to take us into the builder where I can start adding all the elements and designs that I want on this page. So first of all, let's start working with our header area. So I'm gonna click here on this uh, gear icon to go into my section settings. I'm just gonna snap this over to the left so I can see what I'm designing. Next, I'm gonna come over here to my background and let's add a background color. So I'm gonna go in and add very dark gray here. Now I'm just doing this for this tutorial, but ideally you need to have a color palette which is represented over here. Okay, so now that I have my background color, I'm gonna click on save. Next, I'm gonna come over here now and add a single column. This is where I'm going to add the title to this page. So I'm gonna add uh, text and choose my text uh, module here. Next, I'm gonna come over here and uh, click on this dynamic content. And all I'm going to do is I'm just gonna set this to post or archive page. So this will pick up the page. Okay, so now that I have this selected, I can just go in here and I wanna set this to a heading. So I'm gonna add my bracket here. So set this to H1, and then the ending is going to be H, and then forward slash, and then the H1. So this just sets this to heading one. So now I'm going to save, and then next I'm gonna come over here to design, and then go to my heading text, select our heading one here, and then I can choose my font from here. So let's say my font here is going to be Poppins. So I'm gonna select that, and over here on the weight, I'm going to make it uh, bold. And for the text color, I'm just gonna choose white so it really stands out from the back. But of course you can add whatever color you want. Now, if you want to add a slightly off color, you can just go ahead and do that by just uh, choosing it here. So I think I'm gonna go with that. Now, if you want to increase the size of your text, you can also go ahead and do that right here, like that. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna go ahead and save. Okay, so let's go ahead now and work on the second section. So for this section, I'm gonna click on this plus button. This is going to be a regular section and I'm gonna go with two columns. So I'm gonna select that. So over here on the left, I'm going to search for posts content and this is the one. So this post content is what's gonna house all our information for our accounts. Okay, so now that I have that all set, next I am going to go in here and set my font. So I'm gonna click on this gear icon. So I'm gonna start here with my heading, set that to poppins. And we're gonna make this bold. We're also going to do this for heading two and heading three. And then finally, I'm gonna come over here on my body text and do the same. I'm gonna choose my font here. And I'm also going to increase my size here a little bit. So let's go with 16. And I'm also going to increase my line height. So that's gonna be my content area. Finally, I'm going to go now to my content, go to my background and make sure that this is set to transparent because I don't want any background to this. And I'll show you in a moment why. The next part now is to add a background color to my rows. So I'm gonna come over here, go straight to my background and add a background color. So I'm gonna go with a very light gray here. So I'm gonna go with that. And the next step is to head over here to design and then go to spacing. So we are going to give this a bit of padding. So we're gonna go with 5%. This is just so that I have my content here with some breathing space on the sides. So again, I'm gonna do this five. Oops, needs to be 5% uh, to all sides. Okay, so that's looking great now. So finally, I'm going to add some rounded corners here. So I'm gonna to go to border and let's set this to 10. Okay, great. So now you can see the rounded corners in there. That's looking great. I'm gonna save that. 
and save one more time. So, so far we've created our content here. We have added our background. Now you may want to add more items over here to the left. Now let's take a look here at the accounts page. This is what it looks like so far, but of course we want to improve this. So on the side here now we can add other elements. So let's say I want to add a blurb and in here, I'm just gonna choose, you know, what goes in here. So for example, let's say uh, I want easy access to, let's say support. My students can easily find here that the support is uh, easily to click. So let's go ahead and add our text here. Okay, and then over here, we're just gonna add some dummy text. Now let's go to image and icon and let's add an icon here. So the icon I'm looking for is this one here. Now let's go ahead and customize this. So let's go to design and I'm gonna start here with the icon. Uh, we're gonna change the icon color. So what I wanna do here just to make it stand out is to give this a dark background. So before I go, I even go into the icons here, let's go to the background. So I'm gonna come over here and let's add a dark color here. So again, I'm gonna choose a dark gray. The next step now is give this some breathing uh, space around it. So I'm gonna go to spacing and go to my padding here. This time let's try 4% and see how that looks. So if you see that the space is not enough, just go ahead and add a bit more. So I'm gonna go with uh, eight. I think eight looks much better. All right, so that's our area here. Next, while I'm uh, here, I might as well go in and add some rounded corners. So I'm gonna go with eight, and then I'm gonna go into my text now and customize that. So now I'm gonna select my text here and choose my font, which is going to be Poppins. And let's also change the color. And then over here, I'm gonna go in and uh, change my font as well. And I might as well change the color. But this here is a bit too much, so let me choose a slightly off color here. Yeah, I think that looks much better. The next step now is just to center my text here and also center this text right here. So the size doesn't look great, so let's increase this a little bit and let's make it all caps and also make it bold. All right, so now that is standing out, I can also give this some letter spacing and center it. Okay, great. Now it's time to take a look here at our icon. So I'm gonna go in and let's give this icon a color. And what I'm also going to do here is to adjust my size because that's a bit too big. So let's bring this down to about 48. I think that looks great. And then finally, you wanna come over here to your content and over here on the link, this is where you add your link to your support page. So I'm just gonna add a blank link for now and save. Okay, so that's one item I've just added here. If you want to add another one, just duplicate this. And then now it comes on the bottom here. So here you can add something like maybe upgrade account. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm just gonna say upgrade membership. All right, so that could be the text that goes with the upgrade. And then over here now on the actual icon, we can just look for an icon here which works with that. So I'm gonna go to Font Awesome and see what I can choose that works with uh, upgrading your account. So I'm gonna use that icon for my upgrade, but what I'm also going to do, which is really, really cool here uh, with the integration of uh, MemberPress and Divi is to show this based on the membership level. All right, so what I'm gonna do is to set my display condition. So I'm gonna come over here to Advanced, conditions, click my condition here, and then I'm gonna scroll all the way down here until I find member press or memberships. So I'm gonna click here. So I'm gonna say display only if they are a VIP member, right? Because we want them to upgrade to lifetime membership. So all I have to do now is to enable that and save. So we don't want the upgrade to show to everyone who has already upgraded. So this is why we're only displaying this to VIP members so that they can upgrade to lifetime membership. So this is where you'd add your text. And then you can also go in and add the link to the sales page of the lifetime membership. So let's come over here to link and this is where you add your link. So I'm gonna hit save, save one more time. So this is how we started. This is what the page looks like. And now that we've had added our template, this is what the page is gonna look like. So you can see here we have our support, but the other one is not showing because I'm already a member. So that is why it is not showing. So here now I can go to my subscriptions and you can see here my font here really follows everything. And my payments page here, I can see all my payments if I had any. I can also take a look at my courses here. And this is now a much better experience. So you can see here for course one, it's, all, it's already showing me that I've already completed 33% of the course. And this is how you customize your accounts page using the Divi theme builder. 
So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification. Until next time, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.